Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how can you adjust your crochet sizes, adjust your crochet pattern. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna make your gauge swatch first and then measure your gauge. If you don't know how to measure your gauge, I have video tutorial for that. You can check it out. I will put the link in the description below. And if you have that figured out, you can come back into this video. And when you make a gauge swatch, uh, some designer they do gauge swatch, unblock, and measure the gauge. Or some designer, crochet designer, they make the gauge and then they block it and then make a gauge swatch. Uh, measure the gauge, sorry. Whatever pattern you're making, you have to follow in that pattern. If they say unblock, you have to unblock and measure your gauge to match the pattern. Or if they say they block, you have to block first and measure the gauge. So for this, I'm not blocking it. So this is unblock, okay? So here is a swatch. I use paint opaca blend. This is weight 5 bulky and I use the hook size 6 millimeters. So all this is I just write down so I know that this is the hook and the yarn side that I use for this to show you guys. Alright so here is my gauge measure. Okay so I have 12 single crochet stitches and then 14 rows equal 4 inches so this is what I have all right so if you're gonna make something out of it uh, let's say maybe you want to make a blanket and you have to uh, figure it out first that you want the stitches to be the wide or the width or the rows to be the width okay so for me I want my stitches to be the width and then the rows to be the length all right so let's say I want 40 40 inches wide okay so I take 40 I take 40 inches okay and divide it by four because I have four inches here when I make a gift swatch. Okay, divide by four equal. I don't know yet. I'm gonna use calculator. <laughs> Forty divided by four equal ten. Okay. And we're not done yet. We're gonna take this ten down here 10 times 12 stitches that's what I have whatever you have in your stitches you're gonna take that to here okay so in this case I have 12 stitches all right equal so I always use calculator my math is pretty bad so I take 10 time 12 equal 120 that mean I gonna make 120 stitches to have 40 inches why okay all right I hope it makes sense you always can go back and watch um, and watch the uh, beginning of video again if you need to all right, so this this is the Y. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the length. So let's say I want 60 inches long, the length. Okay, so do it again. So I want 60 inches length. Okay, and then 
I divide it by 4. Again, same here. Divide it by 4 inches. And come back to my calculator. 60 divided by 4 equal 15. All right. And now I'm going to take 15 down here. 15 times. So this time, we're not going to take 12 because 12 is the stitches, right? So now we're going to take the rows because I want the row to be my length. So I take 14 rows down here. All right, come back to my calculator. So 15 times 14 equal 210 rows. All right, this is the long. Okay. So see, now Um, like I said, I want 60 inches long, right? So I have to make 210 rows to have 60 inches long. And then I have to make uh, 120 stitches to make 40 inches wide. So now, this is my blanket, right? This is... 210 rows equal 60 inches. See? And then I'm just going to write it up here. So 120 stitches equal 40 stitches. There you go. This is how I do mine. If you have a different way to do it, Go ahead and do your way. I just want to share with you. I hope it makes sense. And let me know if it doesn't make sense. Okay? See? Pretty easy. And now, how about you want to make a blanket, but you want to use different stitches. Like, let's say if you want to use double crochet stitches, but you're going to use the same brand of yarn, same side, and then same hook side. What can you do? Do exactly the same thing, okay? But I have a sample here. I'm going to take this one out. Okay. So this one is the same yarn of this one. Okay, but different stitches. So this one single crochet, this one double crochet. All right, this put, uh, pants, opaca blend, weight five bulky yarn, and crochet hook, size six millimeters. Same brand yarn, same weight yarn, and same hook side, but different stitches. So this is double crochet stitches. All right, again, so now let's do it again. Let's say I want to make uh, the blanket again. And I want the same side of the other uh, swatch that I just made. So I want 40, I want 40 inches wide. I take 40 inches, right? And divide it by four. And then equal. Do again, 40 divided by 4 equal 10. All right, now I take 10 down here. 10 times 12 equal, so 10 times 12 equal 120 stitches. Okay, this is the why? Same technique, but I don't want to show you guys. So now, the the length I want to have sixty inches. Sixty inches length divided by four again. Sixty 
divided by 4 is 15. And now take 15 and then time for uh, time the rows, the row that we have. So I have seven rows, right? So time seven. Come back to my calculator. Fifteen time seven equal one hundred and five rows. Okay, this is long. See? And now this is my bracket. See? If I need to make uh, 16, sorry, if I want to make 60 inches long, I need to make 105 rows. 105 rows equal 60 inches. Alright? And then I want 40 inches wide, I need to make 120 stitches. There you go. And see what difference between double crochet and a single crochet. So see what difference between the double crochet and single crochet. As you can see here, this one 12 double crochet and 7 rows equal 4 inches. This one 12 single crochet, 14 rows equal 4 inches. The stitches is kind of the same, but the row is different. See? Same stitches, but different length of the row. <laughs> I hope it makes it. Yeah, anyway. See, I want both to have 40 inches wide. See, I have to make 120 stitches for both. And then for the rows, we do different. So for the single crochet, we have to make 210 rows to have 60 inches long. But the double crochet, we have to make 105 rows to have 60 inches long. Because the double crochet stitch is kind of long than uh, single crochet. See? Pretty easy, right? Whatever, if you change the hook side, the yarn side, you're going to do exact same. Whatever you want to make okay so another example here I wanna I wanna make uh, the blanket again or even sweater you can do many things with this you can do everything if you know how to um, adjust the sizes okay so this is Line brand jean yarn. This is weight four medium. Oops, I forget to write out the hook side. So the hook side that I use in here is four millimeter. Okay. This is my gauge swatch. And then this is I already measured my gauge. I have sixteen double crochet stitches and eight rows equal four inches. So I use this yarn to make uh, the hoodie sweater on my uh, YouTube. I think you guys see that. You can adjust that side to fit yourself as well. So do again. Do exactly the same. So let's say if I want 20 inches wide for this uh, pattern maybe I make I will say I make um, blanket again I think it's easy to um, explain to you guys okay let's say I want 20 inches wide I do exactly the same take 20 inches divided by 4 let me take my calculator back my math is not good. <laughs> I'm working on it though. 
by using calculator. <laughs> okay, so 20 times 4 equals 5. Okay, and then take the 5 down here and then times double crochet stitches. So I have 16 double crochet. Right? And then 5 times 16 equal 80. So I have to make 80 stitches to have 20 inches wide. All right. Everything is the same technique. And then I want, uh, let's say 20 inches length. The same, 20 inches length. Okay, divide it by four. 20 divided by four equal five. All right, now I take five times eight rows. So five times eight equal 40. So I need to make 40 rows. I have to make 40 rows to have 20 inches. See? 40 rows equal 20 inches. And 80 stitches equal 20 inches. There you go. It's not that difficult, huh? I hope you guys understand what I uh, try to share with you. So, but um, if you want the wide to be the row, you can use the row right here, not the double crochet. Okay, I, okay, let me show you. Just one second. Okay, now, if you want the wide to be the row instead of the uh, stitches, you do exactly the same, but I'm gonna show you. So you're gonna take 20 inches, that's what I want my blanket to be, and then divide it by four, okay, equal five, right? And then you're gonna take five, and then time. So this one is time 16, which is the double crochet stitches, right? But this one gonna be time egg rolls because we want the rows to be the width and the stitches to be the length. Okay, so use my calculator again. Five times eight equal 40. So 40 rows. Okay, so I have to make 40 rows to have 20 inches. Okay, and now we're gonna do the length and also do the same 20 inches divided by 4 equal 5. Now take 5 times 16 this time. Okay, so Five times sixteen equal eighty. Eighty stitches. I have to make eighty stitches to have twenty inches length. Okay, this is my square. Uh, this is the length. Eighty stitches equal. 20 inches and then 
40 rows equal 20 inches um yeah see this one 80 stitches and it's 40 rows this one 40 rows this one 80 stitches i hope you guys understand and and you can make your own pattern and also you can adjust your own size with my pattern and most of my pattern i put the gauge and the measurement in description below you can check that out you can adjust your size your own size or whatever you make for someone else by using this method okay and yeah i hope this video is helpful and like i said this is how i do mine if you have if you want to do different or you have uh, the uh, suggestion please leave a comment below and what i should do better how i explain and yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you next video bye bye